Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Because it's summer and it's really hot here in BC, we are gonna make ice cream today. Vegan vanilla ice cream to be exact. The first thing you'll need are some cashews, so soak them in cold water overnight or for at least 4 hours. Drain and rinse the soaked cashews and add them to a high speed blender. If you're not a fan of cashews, macadamia nuts work really well too. The next ingredient is full fat coconut milk. Yes, you do need full fat. Other vegan milks like almond milk, rice milk or even light coconut milk just don't cut it when it comes to ice cream. Store-bought plant-based milks have generally high water content and low fat content which creates hard icy crystals when frozen. Now you might be wondering if the ice cream tastes like coconut or if you even need to use the coconut milk and my answer is you'll have to watch the taste test at the end of this video to find out. Next up I'm using maple syrup as the sweetener but any liquid sweetener will work. When you look at the ingredients of store-bought vegan ice creams, the sweeteners vary from agave syrup, maple syrup, brown rice syrup, to dried cane syrup or even monk fruit extract, so experiment and see what you like. Here I'm also adding a little bit of coconut oil which helps to slow down melting of the ice cream. Now, one of the most important ingredients in this vanilla ice cream is, of course, vanilla bean. While a vanilla bean is more expensive than vanilla extract, it has a more intense vanilla flavor. It's the purest form of vanilla. That being said, pure alcohol-based vanilla extract has its place in this recipe as well. Not only does it add more flavor, but the alcohol helps prevent ice crystals. Last but not least, a pinch of sea salt and we are ready to blend. The best way to turn this mixture into ice cream is to use an ice cream maker. Pour the ice cream mixture into the ice cream maker container and churn it according to manufacturer's directions. Mine takes about 22 minutes. If you don't have an ice cream maker, I have detailed instructions on how to make ice cream without an ice cream maker on my blog, so have a look at it if you're interested. I have a link to the blog post in the description box below this video. Once the ice cream is churned, if you're using the ice cream maker, it will have more of a soft serve consistency. If you prefer that, your ice cream is ready. If you prefer a little bit firmer ice cream, spoon the churned ice cream into a low fan and place it into a freezer for a few hours. The time will depend on how firm you like the ice cream, anywhere from 2 to 8 hours. 
I recommend putting the entire container with ice cream into an airtight bag so the ice cream doesn't absorb any odors or moisture from the freezer. Storing the ice cream this way will also help prevent ice crystal formation. The vanilla ice cream is ready when it reaches the desired consistency. It should be creamy, rich and so refreshing. This vanilla ice cream is based on Coconut Bliss Vanilla Ice Cream, which I think is probably the most popular brand of vegan ice cream here in Canada. Uh, now, their ingredient list is really simple. It's basically just coconut cream, coconut milk, vanilla bean, and agave syrup. So this ice cream is very similar. I just added cashews to offset the coconut flavor a little bit. But other than that, it's pretty much the same, the ingredients. What about the flavor and texture, Tanner? Well, Petra, <laughs> I have eaten a lot of this, and I can tell you that it is a more straightforward texture than the Coconut Bliss version. So Petra's version here is, I don't know how to describe it, it's more straightforward texture-wise, where I think the Coconut Bliss, because it feels more oily, it's the probably, coconut bliss. The coconut bliss tastes slightly more oily on the palate, like it's almost getting to the point of being slippery. Whereas maybe because it's more fresh, what I'm eating here, it is just more straightforward, smooth across the palate, and then dissipates really quickly. Um, in the original batch, the cashews were the only thing in there, and there's no coconut milk, so yes. I suggested coconut milk just to make it like a little bit, like it would saturate the palate a little bit more. And I was kind of going. Like it was dry at first, but now we've got it so that you cannot really detect cashews at all, I don't think. Yeah, I so this is a second batch. Yeah. Tana didn't like my first batch. That's why we added the coconut milk. And I, I don't detect cashews and I don't detect the flavor of coconut, but I do detect coconut milk in that it's got that saturated fat kind of smooth texture over the palate. Yes, and then the vanilla flavor. And the vanilla flavor. Yeah, I just love fresh vanilla bean because it gives it such nice flavor. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.